thank you so much for visiting my channel. I am so appreciative of you guys who tune in. Even though I've said it before, I will say it again. I am not the most consistent with uploading video. And still, you guys tune in. You guys give the videos thumbs up. You guys comment. And also, in the last couple videos, uh, it sounds like the, I want to say the, what was the item? The Ulta Desert Skies palette, I want to say. That one was pretty helpful, and it sounds like a couple of you have now purchased the item. I have been loving the eyeshadow palette. I actually have it on today, and I do really, really like it. I am boring. I stick to the same colors, I know. However, yesterday, I did actually use the green that was in there, and I was super, super excited about it. But um, today, I did definitely stick with like more of the maroons, the bronzies. And I, I love the palette. So we are going to talk a little bit about that because I did just purchase that. But um, this isn't necessarily a haul video. I mean, I guess it kind of is, but it's more just like a what's new slash a little bit of a try on. We're actually going to try on a couple new items. Um, my girlfriend was telling me that Wet n Wild, actually I noticed this on Instagram as well. But um, I have what's called a makeup girlfriend. We have issues. We literally tag each other all day, or day, uh, Instagram, like makeup, that trend mood or whatever that account is called on Instagram. Um, you know, they are on top of it. They always have like the new latest and greatest items that are launching um, or just, you know, like makeup, makeup gossip in a sense. And so we're constantly tagging one another in those. So anyway, a couple weeks back, we noticed that Wet n Wild was launching some new items. So of course we had to try those. She ended up sending me hers via, I'm trying to remember if she sent it via text or via Instagram. I don't know. Regardless, I was like, I don't need any groceries. I don't normally go to Walmart, but I'm going to go to Walmart because I want to get those items. So anyway, we did get a couple of those items. I did recently talk about a couple of them, um, but we're actually going to try some of those on today. I specifically did not put on any highlighter, which was very difficult. I kept wanting to put it on um, because I wanted to try some on with you guys. So let's go ahead and just jump into this video. Okay, so in my previous video, I don't remember if I specifically named these. I think I may have, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to try some on. Like I said, I don't have on any highlighter as of right now, so we're going to put this on. So the two smaller highlighters that I got, I got two of these guys. Um, I got the Earth and Fire. So this one here is Earth, and then this one here is Fire. You're probably thinking they're very similar, and they are. Um, fire has a little bit more of like a pinky blush undertone, whereas earth has a little bit more of like a goldish, bleh, goldish rose undertone. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and try these guys on. So we're going to go ahead and put earth on first, and we're just going to go ahead and put it on this side here. Um, Literally, as I was finishing up my makeup, it was so difficult to not put on any highlighter just because it's, you know, part of my cadence. It's what I'm used to. Uh, so as I put it on, I was like basically smacking my hand and like, no, don't put that on. Okay, so when you open it, they do open up sideways versus, you know, like flipping upright. So when, let's go ahead and just touch the product, shall we? So let's touch. Um, it is, I'm noticing that very top layer feels a little bit chalky, but as you get past that, ooh, as you get past that first layer, they're a lot softer. So that actually feels really, really nice. So no highlighter. Wow, those are really pigmented. That's picking up really, really nicely on camera. Two, I will say very little goes a long way. My camera, or I'm sorry, my mirror is actually pretty far and I can see that glow. Dang, okay, so, so far so good. So these are two different colors, but I mean, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm really not that worried, but we're gonna put fire on this side. I recently trimmed my bangs because I just, I hate my hair. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair, but I felt like I needed fringe and now I'm just like, I hate my fringe and I just never know what to do. So I don't know. I'm going to do something very, very soon to my hair. It's probably not going to be that drastic, but my hair is going to be switching it up soon because I just, I don't know. I'm over it. Anyway, so this is a fire. And again, like when you first touch it, it feels a little bit 
chalky, but when you get past that first layer, you don't feel that at all. Yeah, and I see a lot of dust kind of flying away, but this one's not as vibrant, which I kind of expected because when you look at them, this one definitely has more of like a champagne finish. This one is a little bit more of like that blushy rose undertone that I kind of said. Um, but they're both very pretty. I mean, you still get a nice highlight. So if you are a little bit tanner than me, you're really going to love fire as a highlight. But if you're my tone to lighter, you're really going to love earth. But so far, both of them, I mean, they're both really, really pretty. I want to say these were probably like $4.99, maybe less. Super, super inexpensive. So there's those guys. Um, I will leave the specific pricing down below. Uh, I forgot to grab my receipt, so I can't really tell you exactly right now, um, but I'll definitely put that down below in the description box. Okay, so the other highlighter that I got is this guy. I There's, ugh, there's so much in here. I like get so tongue-tied. I'm so excited about this. So what I will say already, because I did actually open this in a previous video, um, I don't like that the name isn't on here like it's on the actual wrapper which was here but once you take that off like you don't have the name so that's kind of a pain I'm gonna somehow tape it to like maybe like the side of the container because I remember it had a really really cool name but I don't know I don't know where that's at so to be honest with you I'm gonna have to look it up but there's a ton of product in here and the other really really cute thing I'm gonna have to be really careful because it's already kind of coming up the little holes but the little holes that dispense the product, they're little stars. It's really, really cute. So I think, I mean, very small, you know, little touches like that, I feel like go really far just because it shows, you know, that they really are paying attention and they're, you know, just being a little bit more adventurous. Plus everything's very kind of like horoscope-like. So I like that the little um, astrology, I guess, I like that the little dispenser is stars. So I did use that already. Really, really love it. Again, kind of has that chalky feel, but it blends and almost melts into the skin really, really nicely. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so this was really exciting. I was with my nephew and my nephew was like, Auntie, don't you already have so much makeup? And I was like, hey, do you want to spend the night or not? You do? Quiet. Um, anyway, so I was really excited to see at my local Walmart, they have shadow shields. I have literally literally looked everywhere for this. My husband hates when I enunciate it like that. Um, anyway, so I've looked for these everywhere. I don't normally create like a blunt look needing shadow shields, but at the same time, when you don't have something, you want it. And I wanted these. So anyway, now I'm going to create a really blunt, crisp look because I have these. Um, but anyway, I was really excited to see that they have shadow shields. You can also use them for like, you know, refining your lip area. I did flip it upside down. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to try those. Plus, I now have something that I didn't have. And that's very necessary. Um, okay, so moving on. Um, another item. Okay, so this, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning of the video. I think that I did. But... I discovered this brand in a haul, when was that? Probably towards the beginning of my videos. When was that? Probably a year ago or so. Anyway, no, it hasn't been a year. About like eight months, give or take. You guys get the gist. Okay, so anyway, I discovered this brand called Equate, I think is how you say it. And this is called the Multi-Purpose Brush. It is phenomenal. Like... Say with me, phenomenal. Uh, what is that from? Barbershop? Phenomenal woman. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so if my mom or my sister are tuning in, you guys will have to give this video a thumbs up if you remember that part. And also, if you are not my mom or sister, but you remember that part from Barbershop, video, thumbs up now. Do it. I'll wait. I'll wait. Thumbs up. Okay. Anyway, so moving on. So this brush is a I like how small it is like it's nice and short which is really great that way like if you're needing to travel with it or whatever but it is so stinking soft it's so like it blends out products so so well um I specifically use one for bronzer but I also wanted a slightly larger one just to kind of dust on a little bit of blush um I also have another one for setting powder so I guess technically this is my third one but I am obsessed with this brush if you guys do not have this literally go it's at Walmart um, if you guys don't have a Walmart close to you, where the heck do you live? No, I'm just kidding. But if you don't have a Walmart close to you, 
I would say just jump on Walmart's website or maybe even Equate has their own website, Equate Beauty. Um, let's see, do they have their own website? I mean, I would assume that they do. I don't see anything on the packaging, but I'm sure they do. Anyway, I, this brush is so freaking good. So honestly, go get it. It's less than four bucks. It is totally worth it. I could literally rub my face all day long. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, um, okay, so the next couple products, I am going to go pretty quickly because I know that I already talked about them in my previous video. So I did get the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I'm born June 10th. I'm a true Gemini. There is that. Super, super pretty. I like that it's nice and metallic because I feel like colors that are really light and metallic, they make my lips look more like juicy yes and kind of wet you know especially if you're taking photos um uh, but they also just give this slightly 90s frosty vibe but without being like too frosty hopefully that makes sense anyway so i absolutely love that i've been using this mega slim mascara i like it but honestly i just i don't have the patience to like sit there and really layer so if you have like really short bottom lashes and you're okay with maybe layering, you may like this. It's not my favorite. Um, it's just, it, it's, it takes too long for me. And I don't have patience when it comes to my makeup. Um, okay, so the next item that I got is this liquid, what is this called? Liquid, no, mm -mm, matte liquid lipstick. Um, that's not what it's called. It's called matte lipstick. Anyway, so this is the liquid cat suit, and this is in the color caramel cake. Um, I used this in my previous video, and I really, really loved it. I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, the applicator to me, I'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys. The applicator to me is a little bit weird because, and this is all their applicators and I feel like I can get a really good line. Very, very crisp, but it has this slight like divot. You're not gonna be able to see it, but on the base of the applicator, it has this slight little divot with like a shelving, like a shelf kind of blunt cut, I guess, into it. And that feels weird on my lip. It doesn't hurt, obviously. It doesn't, it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, like I said, I can get a really crisp line, so that's truly what I'm looking for. But it does have this weird cut to the applicator. I don't know. So just basic feedback. You can get such amazing crispness with the applicator. Um, so maybe there is some sort of reason. I don't know. It's just every time I'm putting it on, I'm just, I always think like, why does it have that shelving cut to it? I don't understand that. Um, but anyway, super, super random, but just basic feedback. Um, okay, so the last item that I did get, I did mention this in the previous video. I did actually do a first impression. It is this guy. This is the Desert Skies palette by Ulta Beauty. Guys, this is so pretty. It is only $20. I did do a video. It was my first video where I did a little bit of editing. Don't judge me. I just, I'm going to get there. I promise you I'm going to get there. I'm going to actually reach out to one of my girlfriends and see if she can help me. Um, but anyway, it's really, really pretty. I'll do a couple swatches. I'm actually not going to look where I'm swatching because you, you can just imagine the colors that I'm going to grab and I'm probably still going to grab those. Um, <laughs> I did two swatches on one finger. Awesome. Okay, so moving on. Let's see here. So there are some swatches. I did two on this one because I wasn't looking. I thought that would be cool. So there's like a maroon and a black, a maroon, a nude, and then like another maroon. Again, pretty common. But let me just show you this pigmentation, people. Like super, super good. So highly recommend it. I like it. It's nice and compact, super easy to travel with. So that is definitely a goodie. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that on my hands. Good thing about wearing sweats, just, just clean it off on the pants, no big deal. Um, okay, so the last item that I've absolutely been loving, uh, literally everywhere I go, this is in my pocket, this is in my purse, this is in my jean jacket. Not that I wear a jean jacket every day, it's been 100 degrees today, it's like 102 degrees. Anyway, so this is by Chanel, and this is the, I'm getting real cross-eyed right now. 
This is the Glossomer, I guess, lip gloss in shade 297. I got this forever ago. I got this actually in Alaska um, when I was helping to do a store launch, which was so, so cool. That was forever ago. Anyway, so this is shade 297. I don't know why I did it in such a weird, awkward area, but it is the perfect nude everyday color. I have it on again today. Um, I really, really like it. I just like how it's nice and neutral. It gives you the perfect shine. There's a little bit of shimmer in there, but it's not like a chunky glitter. You literally do not feel the glitter in there whatsoever. So I absolutely love this. And again, it's a great staple for me. You can't go wrong with the Chanel packaging. I love their packaging. I'm going to do a better swatch for you guys. Um, I am running a little bit low, so I actually text my uh, friend. Shout out to Joey if you are watching this. Um, but I'm going to be calling you soon because I need to get another one of these plus maybe like two, no, three, three other items, so four items total. Anyway, so here is that swatch. Such a pretty color. If you guys have not used their lip glosses, I highly, highly recommend those. How many times am I going to say that? Um, anyway, that's everything. I need to sip. I feel like I was talking so fast. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. Anyway, so, oh, last item. How did I forget this? This is like the coolest item. Okay, so I recently came across this item at Ross, TJ Maxx, Ross. And I was looking for something for my eye brushes. I have a ton of eye brushes, crease brushes specifically. And it's funny because when I first started in makeup, I didn't care for crease brushes. I didn't think that they really did a lot, but now they're my obsession. Anyway, so I wanted a little brush holder slash, not dispenser, holder for sure. Um, that I could use, but I could still like see what I had. Um, so anyway, with all of that being said, hopefully you guys can see this. So it's this clear little acrylic. What? Look at that. It's like this warms my heart. Like this completes me. So anyway, if you are somebody who has just a couple eye brushes and like maybe one complexion brush, you may not like this because if you only put a couple brushes in here, they can slide out of here because they're too much at an angle. So this is for somebody who likes to have a good amount of brushes or at least really chunky brushes. Even if you just have a couple brushes, but they're like, they have a thick base to them, then that's great. Um, but again, this has been so awesome and so convenient because normally just by, I guess, habit, I've noticed that like my, br my brow brushes end up here, my crease brushes end up here, my smudge brushes end up here. So I can just easily spin this and grab what I need. So this has been super convenient. I also like that it's clear because I can easily be like, oh yeah, I need that brush. So this has been so amazing. I only saw one of these. If there were more, I definitely would have grabbed more, but there was only one. Um, it was only $8.99. It does look like it was on sale originally $16. I don't know why it was on sale, but I'm glad and I grabbed it. But there's only one. Ah. So anyway, um, if you guys come across that to let me know because I need another one. I need, I don't need but I would like another one. So anyway, if you guys see that at your local Ross, pick it up and it's super, super convenient. Ah, hopefully this video wasn't too long. Hopefully it was entertaining. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Again, I'm gonna be more consistent. I've said that before. You guys are probably like, yeah, right. You're a filthy little liar. Um, but anyway, I really am going to try to be more consistent. I appreciate you guys so much. Feel free to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, watch some of the previous videos, of course. I will be uploading another video before Monday, I promise. Hold me to that. Comment. Make sure that I do it. Um, but I think that's everything. Thank you guys again so, so much for all of your support. I love and I appreciate you guys. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.